Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen Cooking with BJ. How you doing today? We're going to do some simple pork chops. It's nice and cold and crispy outside and I'm a little bored but have to fix dinner. So we're going to do these pork chops right quick. So I have my pork chops. They all washed and clean. I'm going to season my flour. I'm going to season it with Seasoning salt, black pepper, garlic powder. I'm just going to put the seasonings inside of the flour. Not very much, so you can use as much as you want. But please, don't use a lot. Okay, and then we're going to beat two eggs for our egg wash. And I'm going to use these Italian breadcrumbs to uh, coat the pork chops. And we're going to fry them up. Okay? I'll be back after I season this um, flour. I'm going to get creative with this uh, until my friend get me my stand for my camera. Okay, so now since I got it set up a little bit, here's my flour. And I'm using a half a teaspoon measuring. So I'm just going to use a half a teaspoon. It's heaping. Half a teaspoon of seasoned salt. I might go with. So I'm using two half a teaspoons. So that'll equal one teaspoon. With the garlic powder, I'm going to do the same thing. Because I have some more pork chops I need to fry. That's why. Okay, here we are, a half a teaspoon. Another half a teaspoon. But with the pepper, we're not doing that. With the pepper, for real, for real, we're probably going to use one teaspoon one half a teaspoon i'm sorry okay so one teaspoon of seasoned salt one teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of black pepper is what i'm doing and i'm just going to mix it together into the flour and i'm doing this because i don't want to take the time to season each pork chop you lose seasoning that way. So I'm just going to season the flour. And then I'm going to dip the pork chops in the flour. Dip them into the egg wash. Dip them back in the flour. Dip them back in the egg wash. And then we're going to dip them into the breadcrumbs. So give me one minute. Let me get my egg wash together. And I want to beat my eggs in a bowl. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got my two eggs in the bowl. I'm just going to whisk these up. And then I'm going to place this off in this bowl right here. And I got my oil on. I'm going to use my electric skillet today. That way I can get all these pork chops done at the same time. Not trying to spend all day in the kitchen. Okay. And I made me a little drink. It's pretty good. I might put the recipe online. We'll see. But for now, we're going to get these pork chops going. So you want to make sure that seasoning is really mixed up good into the flour. As well as making sure that the egg is mixed up really good. I 
be right back. I want to get a plate because I want to lay my pork chops on a plate. I don't want to put them in right away. Hold on. Okay, we're going to start dipping these in the flour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do them two different ways. I'm going to do three in the egg wash and the breadcrumbs, and I'm going to do three with just the egg wash and the flour. Reason being, I don't want to use up all my eggs, and these are some pretty large pork chops. So I'll just show you two different ways to do them. Hope that's okay with you. Okay, so that's the second dip in the flour. The second dip in the egg wash. And this bowl make it really easy to dip them because it's, it's deep but it's flat. Okay, so now... Hope I don't knock this camera off, you guys. I think what I'm gonna do is just show you like this. Okay, so now it's in the breadcrumbs. So you just wanna cover it with the breadcrumbs. And then I'm just going to lay them on this plate and let them sit for a minute before I put them in the oil. Okay, so that's how you do those. And I'll be right back to show you how to, I'm going to do the other ones. Okay, I got them breaded. I already cooked one. There it is right there. And then we're going to put these two off in here. And I got the electric skillet on about 350. So we're just going to let these cook about four minutes on each side. And then we're going to turn them over and let them cook on the other side. And then I'll come back and show you how to cook the other ones a different way. How about that? Is that cool? Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, that one is looking lonely over there. It look good though. Okay, as you notice, I put them on a rack. And I put the paper towel under the bottom of the rack to let them drain. If you place them on a paper towel only, then they're gonna the it, they won't be crispy anymore. The grease will absorb into the paper towel and the meat. So, I want them to stay crispy. So, I put them on the rack. It's fine either way. If you don't have a rack, put them on a the paper towel. Old school, I ain't mad at you. I'll be right back. Okay, we should be ready to turn these over. Okay, we're gonna let them cook on four, about four, three and a half, four minutes on this side, and they should be ready to come out. And I'll be right back. Okay, let's cut this fire off for a little while. And we're gonna take these out. And place them on the rack. Okay, we're just going to leave those laying there to cool off, and we're going to go ahead and do the other ones. Okay, with these, we're just going to add one more seasoning to the flour, and that's paprika. We're going to add paprika. I'm adding one 
one teaspoon of paprika. And I'm gonna mix that up. And this just helps give the pork chops a nice pretty brown color. So remember, we already got our other seasonings mixed up in this flour. I just added the paprika. So I'm going to add one more egg to the egg wash. And we're going to dismiss the breadcrumbs on these. So we're just going to do the flour and the egg wash with these three pork chops right here. Okay? I'll be right back. Let me crack this egg. Okay, now we're going to start with these. We're going to dip them in the flour. I need my glove on, excuse me. I have to wash my hands, put this glove on. I don't like to put my hands in all this stuff. So we're going to put the glove on. It is a clean rubber glove. I have a whole box of them. It make it easier for me to maneuver. That way I could always take it off when I need to do something else. Okay, so we dipped it in the flour. Now we're going to dip it in the egg wash. We're going to dip it back in the flour and just make sure it's coated really, really good. That's why I want the glove on so I can get all this. The ingredients won't stick to my hands. Okay, and after we get these coated up, so we double dipped it in the flour and that's it. One dip in the egg wash, two dips in the flour. Then we're going to lay them over here on the plate and we're going to put these all in at the same time. These are going to be quickies. So we dipping them in the flour. And I always like to let them sit for a minute so the ingredients can set in them. So when you put it in the grease, it won't just fall all off into the grease. Let me cut the skillet back on. Okay, we're taking it back up to 350. And because I'm doing all three of these at the same time, I might cut it up a little higher. Because once you put all the meat in there, you're going to lose some of your temperature. But for now, I got it heating up on 350. And the paprika is optional, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to use the paprika, but it really makes the meat turn a pretty brown color. So that's why I like to use it. It just adds the brownness to it. It helps it brown really nice. Okay, we're going to lay that one over here. And I'll do this last one off camera. Because I know you know how to dip now. One dip in the egg wash and two dips in the flour. So I'll be back once the grease get hot and we're going to cook these together. Okay, it's time. Let's start putting these in. I 
And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cook these on each side for about four minutes. And then we're going to turn them over. So I'll be back in about four minutes. You see how the brownness from that paprika? Look at that. Those are going to be pretty. Okay, I'll be back in four minutes. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Okay. Oh, man. I'm to be careful so I won't pull the breading off of them. Okay. So... We'll be back in four minutes. Okay, it's been about four, four and a half minutes. And I'm going to take these out. Remember, lay them on a rack. If you have one, if you don't have one, don't worry about it. Okay, let's get this last one out of here. Okay, I'm going to go and cook some side dishes, and then we're going to come back and plate these up and give them a name. So, we have two different types of pork chops here, so the names will be interesting. Stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final result. Pork chops look pretty, pretty darn good, don't they? Okay, this is the first pork chop recipe that I used. And we're going to name these pork chops BJ Double Dip Pork Chops. Okay. And I made some rice aroni to go with these. And for these pork chops over here, these were the second ones. These were the ones that was cooked with just the flour and the egg wash. When I add the paprika to the flour, we're going to name these BJ Saddleback Pork Chops. Once again, thank you for watching Rolling with BJ in the Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video. These pork chops are very, very good. Please try one of these recipes or both of these recipes. Thank you for joining me and have a blessed evening. God bless. See you on the next video.